I'm afraid I can wait no longer to hear your account of the seance, Mr. Galici. So please, tell me what you saw. Lady Craven wanted to meet the spirit of the Raja. My conjuration was successful. Perhaps even too successful. I am sure the spirit was the only one who could have taken the diamond. Lord Craven needs to leave me alone. Do you think the police will believe you? Of course. I didn't take anything. And spiritual phenomena are beyond their control. Or should I summon the ghost again so they may attempt to handcuff it? I think I would prefer to begin my investigation in the physical realm. I have shocking news that changes your situation entirely. Oh, no, wait. What am I thinking? The spirits will have told you this already. I, I'm not in the necessary state for summoning. The spirits prefer clarity of mind and soul. Please, tell me. Lady Craven died in the very next room while you were in here. Did you not hear anything? What? How? I in fact, I did hear noises. That Craven is a very loud man, but I never thought he would do that to his wife. Well, you claim to be a medium. Perhaps you could ask her spirit why. What? No, it's uh, too dangerous. Oh well, at least I can make the dead talk. Those scratches on your hands look rather painful. What happened to you? It was those savage servants. They were so rough bringing me here as if I was trying to escape. When I'm free, I'll demand compensation. That's a remarkable pin of yours, Mr. Galici. Does it have any meaning? The butterfly? It's a reminder of a time in which I was truly happy. What a coincidence. Lady Craven had a ring with the same design. A coincidence indeed. <laughs> I suspect it is a common theme in jewellery.
I need to go. A familiar substance. It's the ectoplasm that stained the seance table, but this time there's enough for analysis. My faith in this medium has burst, just like a rubber balloon. Tools and accessories for masterful prestidigitation. Or, or weapons and defenses against visitors from the great beyond. Do you always travel with your books, Mr. Galici? I do. In my line of work, one needs resources available to help deal with the unpredictable and unworldly. Bilge, Balderdash and Baloney, the lot of them. Bilge, Balderdash and Baloney, the lot of them. Hmm. Someone is making the most of his stay. Can you blame the man? I'd say he's not ordering enough.
do something about it, Holmes. I... I did not do it. You know that. Do you realize just how dangerous it is to hold phosphorus in the mouth? I beg your pardon? I'll bet it makes your rubber balloons glow impressively in the dark, but you'll regret it when the hypertension and vomiting sets in. You mock my talent, sir. You shouldn't be so flippant about things beyond your earthly understanding. How ignorant one must be to compare a spirit's ectoplasm with balloons. It was merely a word of caution. We both know how match factory workers look after several years on the job. Luca Galici, I know you murdered Lady Craven, and I can prove it. That would be a grand story for the newspapers. But where's your proof? I was locked in here and could not hurt a fly. Yes, yes, the locked room. Good of you to mention it. I inspected the door between the rooms, and the lock on it is piteous. You could open it with a penknife. So I am now a burglar, as well as a thief and a murderer? Your wrists are bloodied, and there's no way a servant's manhandling could cause such an injury. It was Lady Craven as you strangled her. You are... you are fantasizing, Mr. Holmes. As for the motive, it's obvious that you deduced that Lady Craven was the real thief. Of course, it helped that this was not your first encounter with Miss Emma. Uh, I am... Uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. How on earth can you believe this? I think the police will easily find the proof when they browse their archives. It is done, Luca. 
You will be arrested. Your best strategy now is to confess and hope your reasons were justified. I... Uh, I... Ha. I don't know how you figured it out. But yes. I killed her. I had to. This woman could not get away with ruining my life twice. Twice? I knew Emma before she was a lady. I mean, she pretended to be noble back then too. But only so our gang, the Moths, could steal from those snobs. She betrayed us. Stole all our money and disappeared. Leaving us to rot in jail. I was young. I spent three years in that hell. And tonight, she tried to set you up again. Did she recognize you? She didn't. I came to her afterwards, pleading that she drop this farce, but she laughed in my face. I just remembered my time in the clink. All I suffered while she indulged. And I grabbed her throat. Murder is murder, Luca. You could have told Lord Craven the truth and seen Miss Emma's downfall, but you could not restrain yourself. He would never believe me. We will never know. Still, perhaps a jury will be more easily swayed. If not, you'll get to see your friends in jail again soon. We'll meet again, Holmes. I will get you, in this life or the next. Get your hands off me. He murdered the woman who put him in jail. Should we be worried? Fear not, John. Unlike Miss Emma, I will see him coming. <laughs>